We'll guide you through how to fix your PS5 Wi-Fi or internet not working. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So firstly, if you've recently gone and moved your internet or PS5, then it could be that now it's just too far away. And so what you'll need to do is move them closer, but if you haven't moved anything and the Wi-Fi or internet used to work fine, then of course this isn't a problem. But if you've recently moved things around, then it's likely things are just too far away, so go and move them closer. Or you can go and get a Wi-Fi booster. If that doesn't apply to you or it doesn't work, open up the control center by tapping the PlayStation button, tap down and tap across to the power button, click there and then tap on restart PS5 and wait for it to restart. Once your PS5 is restarted, then go up and go into your settings and go into network and then try joining it again. Then go into settings and then click on set up internet connection. Now people will be experiencing different problems here, but if yours says that it's connected but it isn't working, then what you want to do is just go and forget it and reconnect. I understand though, you may not even be able to go and connect to it in the first place. We've got more fixes coming, don't worry. But if yours says connected, then tap on the options button in the top right. And then what you want to do is click on forget and press okay. And then what you want to do is go into network found and reconnect to it. So click on it and then enter the password for it if you can. Of course, if you can't do this, don't worry. Hopefully then you'll be able to go and connect to it. If you can't, don't worry, let's get into the next fix. What you want to do is go and put your PS5 into safe mode. So firstly, shut your PS5 down. So click and hold on the power button until it says powering off. Keep holding it as well to hear that second beep, then let go and it will say preparing to turn off your PS5 and it will then go and turn off. Wait for it to fully shut down, which means all the lights on the console will disappear and the fans will stop. They've now all stopped and so to put your console into safe mode, hold the power button and you'll hear that first beep, keep holding it until you hear the second beep and then you let go. So I'll keep holding and just like that, the second beep and it's now gonna be going into safe mode. You'll need to connect your controller using the USB cable. So I've already got one end in the console and I'll plug the other end in like that. And then I'll press the PlayStation button. Then go down to clear cache and rebuild database. So click there, click on clear system software cache and you can then go and press okay. And it's then gonna go and restart and hopefully that will go and fix your problem. And once your PS5 is restarted, head back to your network settings and then see if you can go and connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you still can't, then what may be worth doing is try using an ethernet cable. So an ethernet is also known as a LAN cable and that will plug directly from your console into either an access point, a router, or maybe a power line adapter. A power line adapter puts ethernet ports anywhere in your house where you've got electricity output, like a wall plug. And so then what we can do is plug the one end of the cable into the back of the PS5 and then the other into the access point. So on the back of the PS5, there is the ethernet. So you'd plug one end here. So I use a power line adapter, but you can use a router. So one end of the ethernet goes into this and then the other will go into my PS5. Then once you've connected the ethernet cable in or the LAN cable, go into your settings and go into network and then go to settings and set up internet connection. And you can scroll down here and at the bottom here will be an option for set up LAN cable. I don't have it because I haven't connected my LAN right now, but yeah, yours would appear there if you did go and connect it. And then you can go and set up the process. As you can see, I've done it here before. It says wired LAN. And then hopefully that will go and fix your problem. If the earlier methods didn't, this is more of an alternative. But if you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.